Good morning, MMTs. This is Sunday morning, and it just so happens to be the weekly chart of the NASDAQ comp. Today's date is 12 5 of 2010. We had did a daily chart, and now we're going to do the weekly chart analysis so that you get a little bit more in depth other than what the daily said. So, because there are different things that happen. And what we are going to point out very clearly is we're going to take a look in our platform here and I'm going to go, this is our platform, it's a mathematical trading platform. I'm going to go into the deltas, I'm going to click on here. Wow, it drew my trend lines. So, MMTs, basically I'm going to be doing this analysis very carefully is to let you know that the, the, the week of December here, at the bottom of this 24, uh, at the end of November, going into December 1, we put a bottom in on 11.29, and that's where the buying from the bottom up came in on this weekly NASDAQ comp chart. We took out these previous highs up to the next mathematical line of resistance. And what I would like to tell people is, is that this particular bar, half of the bar is 2514.28. The NASDAQ itself right here had closed at 2591. In our system, the way our platform, market maker platform, and our risk management system based on formula technical analysis versus standard tells the truth. We were 37.38 above this previous bar in, in November. The December breakout is part of this weekly bar that's come right up to the weekly double top on the weekly NASDAQ 100. If I start to slide down in half of the next weekly bar and close below the previous week, which is this bar right here, that means that this topping pattern would fail. Now, we will use the daily and the 60-minute and the 15-minute charts to establish some of that top in reversal. The platform will be very key Pacific into telling us what that momentum deterioration meaning momentum reversal to the downside is it's going to tell us in here automatically however if we do hold half of the weekly december bar and we break up and we take out those highs these are major major key levels of resistance and basically they even go back to where the lehman brothers had collapsed we have taken out this last reversal high over here and this month was way back in 426. We made a bottom here at exactly on 830 going into 91. This reversal top that was a two week reversal all the way back down here on the NASDAQ comp weekly and tested that line. That's, that's a mathematical line that the platform populates and then told you when the buyers were coming in. So a two week reversal with the double week bounce back up to that resistance this week right here was on 11.8 the bottom week was on 11.15 week and the up week started toward the tail end of 11.29 but however on that date the majority of the weekly move was done December 1st December 2nd bad jobs and employment had coming out and there's lots of overhangs and if we do not break the highs and if we do not consolidate above 2514 is going to be half of this uh, bar right here so basically we're going to be watching that key level of this last weekly bar as if there is any pullbacks that we're going to hold above half of that weekly bar if we don't we're going to be short now we're going to see how it consolidates on a daily we're also going to see what the 60 minute pattern range is between the buyers and the sellers so we're going to look to see if we can break major resistance on the weekly nasdaq comp you have the daily one now we're showing you the weekly one if you got over here and you had clicked on the link you would be seeing this analysis mmt's what we're going to be doing is watch that we can consolidate the high end of this downtrend bar that occurred on 11.8. 
That's the high end. So if we pull back, we pull back to this this delta line in the SMF platform delta line, we hold and consolidate and then break through resistances. We're going to be looking for the key Pacific price action where the breakout of that weekly price action would bring the buyers off the sideline, push that through resistance, and we'll see exactly what the uh, new week will bring tomorrow morning. 